sad ride today because uh, here me, Mike, and uh, Don, maybe a couple other people are going to show up, but who's not showing up to Marty's ride is Marty. Uh, Marty broke his, um, I don't know if I say ankle or leg, but uh, whichever one he broke, he broke it good. So um, he is scheduled for surgery next week and um, it'll probably be a couple months until we see him on a wheel again. So anyway, uh, he is currently missed and he'll continue to be missed and we will all continue to bombard him with uh, well wishes and reminders of the hole in the sleeve of his jacket. Well, I am uh, on my way to uh, Marty's to pick up the A2 so I can do a little bit of a, I'd say post-mortem except for that's usually when something's dead dead but this is like alive after being dead so it'll be more of a zombie examination. Um, oh, anyway, I'm sure he'll be, uh, upset to see me. <laughs> Not upset to see me. He'll be upset to see me with a, uh, camera on him. Marty has some fancy neighbors. Yeah, so this is Marty's neighborhood, so all of you putting together the GoFundMes for Marty, I think you could stop. Okay, so this is the offending M102, um, that put our good friend Marty in this condition. <laughs> so, uh... I'm laughing, but only because this Roger can make me laugh. Well, Mar <laughs> Marty's on a lot of drugs. He's been hanging out with the Knight Riders too much. Yeah. But <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna see if we could find anything wrong with it, and if we cannot find anything wrong with it, then this wheel is gonna end up with somebody that Marty hates. So, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's gonna be a floating weapon. Yeah. Like, yeah. Anyway, okay, Marty. Thanks, Ryan. Anyway, okay, I'm hanging, I'm hanging up my video. All right, I'm leaving Marty's now, and I am, uh, I was feeling pretty bummed, to be honest, because um, I know Marty is out of commission, and uh, he um, is gonna be feeling like he's missing a big part of his life right now. My car thinks I'm always gonna crash. I'm fine, car. So, um, but just seeing that he's uh, he's got his wife with him and uh, he's smiling and talking and was actually able to greet me at the uh, the back door, um, I'm feeling I'm feeling much better about the situation. Even though you know what right do I have to feel bad? It's not my foot, but anyway, it's my friend. So I'm hoping he does good. So we're gonna find out what's going on with that A2 that's in the back seat. Uh, as soon as I can take screwdriver to the chassis. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna check for in this guy is I'm gonna take off this uh, top cover part and hopefully I can actually just take off the top cover part and see in right away without having to take everything off. But in here is the battery. The battery cables come over um, that direction and plug straight into the main board, which is inside here. So what has been happening to people on their M104s is sometimes that will just end up working its way out. And, uh, well, when your battery is not plugged in, balancing is difficult for one of these machines. All right, removed the foamy hat and then the Lexany kind of hat. And I did that because when I got my eyeballs on that, I was able to see that it was totally plugged in. Um, but I also could see some copper from the plugs. So first thing I'm gonna do is pull on that and see if the thing turns on while I'm pulling on it. So hopefully the answer is no. But anyway, it looks pretty good inside other than that. Um, fact that it tried to kill my friend Marty. <laughs> Getting a phone call. All right, well, I have gotten inside here and that is what I was uh, suspecting. And I was wrong. So if I take this thing and I turn it on, it's got a healthy beeper. 
and I was going to poke around here all I can to try to get some spacing or whatever and it is in there well and all angles I'm pushing it at nothing happens so the only other thing that's gonna make sense aside from the main board failing which um, just from history that doesn't happen that way but I have seen batteries with bad leads on them so and cold solder connections whatever so cold solder connection if I'm pulling up on that that could do it but everything else is in the PCB so I think uh, the next thing I'm not excited about which would be check out the battery yeah yeah I know I'm one of the battery guys but I hate having to get batteries out of stuff where the batteries are happy where they are there's a battery happy in its little home and I'm having to like force it out bummer okay so battery is out uh, I don't know why this is but it says 42 volt AB so I'm guessing uh, 42 volt on one side and 42 volt the other side and they're combined 74 volt to 84 volt total so 74 volt nominal blah 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 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook my multimeter up to this guy I'm gonna mess with it all I can and try to see if uh, messing with any of these little connecting points or anything will uh, do a discontinuity to the positive and negative of this um, the BMS wire in the middle would have zero effect as far as the danger goes um, to get this thing out of there was a little different than the M104 because there's these uh, double-sided sticky things so I just uh, you know everybody knows how smart I am so I'm like definitely needle nose pliers so I go needle nose pliers there, pulled it out, um, and did a little wiggling with uh, the Allen keys here to the bottom, which I don't think had much to do with it actually coming out. So let's see if we could figure out um, if the battery is the problem, and if it's not the problem, I am at the end of my list of possibilities, and I'm putting this thing back together, um, and then I'll probably ride it, not because I'm just crazy, or not because I'm too crazy but because I'm for crazy, which translate that into Spanish. That's for local man. All right, the pack is at 78 volts. Um, it is two completely independent um, 40, it says 42 volt packs, which means 84 volts in total. Uh, so what I'm doing is hooking the multimeter up to the positive and negative leads and I'm just touching and wiggling everything looking for what could have potentially caused the failure and uh, I don't know these leads falling out not not really something I should be concerned about but okay let's see can I see it if I put that up against the four loco maybe everything seems pretty good they really do I don't know everybody's so hard on bigot about everything these packs are built really well um, these uh, I don't know the MOSFETs in here are a little older but ugh. okay I'm gonna quit recording uh, and we'll see what uh, what I can find while I'm uh, able to um, pass gas and pick my nose freely okay so for anybody curious uh, the uh, battery is just a good old-fashioned m10 4 battery it says m10 4 all over the freaking thing and it's got uh, two 40 amp fuses in line um, which means uh, you can pull 80 amps uh, continuously and it shouldn't die but there we go M104 again uh, I've gone over this battery it seems really well built and I would have uh, no reservations with this thing um, 
to protect me. So these are the uh, the MOSFETs for shutting down uh, charging if things go funky. Um, the fuses on the other side are like short circuit protection for this and the MOSFETs are for so these little wires are um, temperature sensors that go into the batteries. Um, they're called thermistors for anybody that wants to know the actual word. Um, and if the battery gets too hot or if a cell group gets too far out of whack or whatever the thing is programmed to stop charging for, then this will stop working. And the people that do BMS bypasses are charging to this and not this. But, I mean, what's up with those people? They're crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to throw in the towel. I'm going to put this thing back together and report back to Marty that I was not able to find anything that um, I think would have caused the A2 to be... Uh, oh, man, I should have had like a, a good little pun set up ahead of time, but... Uh, Anyway, A2 dangerous, whatever. That one sucked. All right, main board back in, battery main, blah, blah, blah. I blame Four Loco for my speech impediment. Okay, so battery back in, main board back in, uh, reconnecting the wires. Unfortunately, this does mean I did not find anything definitive that would be causing any kinds of issues with this thing. Um, so if anybody's got any other ideas, things I can check, uh, please let me know. I'd be happy to check them out. Um, I did check all the legs of the MOSFETs look to be the same color. There were no uh, bulges on any of the capacitors. The MOSFETs themselves surface all looked fine. Uh, the PCB front and back both had no weird little discoloration thingies that could uh, come from high temperature stuff the battery uh, PCBs all looked fine the um, beeper on that thing never went off uh, the beeper on the wheel didn't even go off when the thing quit so don't know uh, what could be the cause although um, this would be like one of them fun kind of Russian roulette kind of game wheels where uh, we we'll set up a little obstacle course you gotta go for it and uh, Survivor wins okay now being that this thing is like 99% an M10 4 I am going to put on a little something that uh, Melody is trying to uh, distribute to keep the community safe which is a battery retaining they call it a majigger so it's a battery retaining majigger. Okay, now the reason it has a window in here is because on the M10 IV, you could actually put a light through and see this plug um, through the clear kind of plexiglassy window thing. On the A2, you cannot see it because it's got this foam thing on top of it, which is an easy thing to remove to actually see it, but you can see the yellow made it up to the black there. So. If you could see yellow and black there, you're in good shape and uh, you can blame other stuff besides that plug, which is uh, what we're having to do here. So we're pretty much blaming, um, I don't know, bad juju on this wheel dying. This, this wheel is covered in bad juju. So we're going to do a little cleansing ritual before we give it back to Marty here so that uh, he can be safe and ride this thing in peace even though i don't think he's going to want to ever touch this thing again unless i was able to find something uh that said it was bad and i did not so my bad for this thing being bad well my uh let's see my desire for self-preservation is low here's the wheel the danger wheel the wheel that uh, tried to kill our friend Marty. And uh, I'm going to ride it around a bit, um, preferably with some gear, but trying to bother the wheel, jumping off of stuff, jumping around and all that. And uh, anyway, 
if I end up breaking something, there's plenty of time for me to heal before the tour as well. Anyway, see y'all there.